Hello and welcome to the Moment with Messiah video news update of events in the life of Messiah Episcopal Church. I'm coming to you uh, from the home office. And um, as is my practice, I want to reflect back on some of the good things that have happened in the life of the church to celebrate them before we move on. Uh, and I want to reflect ahead on some upcoming events. So take a moment to sip on uh, some coffee from my, my favorite uh, coffee, coffee mug. Well, September was a very, very full uh, and rich month, as was early October. Uh, not only did we uh, relaunch um, our program year this, this fall, we had some wonderful visits from John and Karen Newton. We had our, our parish picnic, our gathering Sunday, our return to Christian education for all ages. I'm grateful for all of that. Um, while also acknowledging the great uh, challenge, at least for yours truly, um, with Reverend Chris's departure and announced just before Labor Day and her last uh, Sunday with us just before October the 1st. But I'm so grateful for those who have stepped forward to serve and to lead uh, in this time. With Kristen Kidder uh, now serving as our interim parish coordinator, and the Reverend Mark Landwehr as our assisting priest, and uh, Luke Walbert stepping in as our Sunday morning children's ministries host. Thanks to you all uh, for stepping in in these ways, and really grateful for God that in many ways we did not skip a beat uh, going forward. Having said all that, I will acknowledge I'm a little um, tired, and so we'll be taking this weekend away. This is, of course, MEA weekend, and I have uh, one more Sunday of vacation, so I'll be away from you this Sunday. Uh, having said that, I am really grateful for those who, those who are stepping up this Sunday. So uh, Reverend Mark Landwehr will be your celebrant, and Chris Ferrario, a Messiah member who is also an aspirant uh, in the process for Holy Orders, will be your preacher. Well, we are currently in the generosity season. We kicked off generosity season last Sunday, and uh, our theme is Rooted in Abundance, which comes to us from the Episcopal Network for Stewardship. This Sunday, you will see an insert in your bulletin that has FAQs that answers many of the questions um, that were raised in our adult forum. What it is that we, what we're talking about when we talk about the uh, balance budget, the stretch budget, and the dream budget. Also look in your, in your snail mail mailboxes um, this week as well for a letter from me with the same FAQs on the other side um, and your pledge card. What we're asking once you uh, read that is when you bring your pledge card back, on November the 12th, that's our in-gathering Sunday, just to let us know on the card whether your pledge is for the balance budget, for the stretch budget, or the dream budget. Of course, the dream budget uh, fulfills all of that has been asked by our ministries and will not require any more fundraising uh, at Messiah. And we explain why in the letters and in the FAQ. So please do uh, look at that when it arrives in your mailbox or check it out this coming Sunday. Now, I also want to uh, look ahead at some upcoming events. And we're so grateful that we have been, uh, we're really a privilege to have uh, Dr. Garwood Anderson, who will be with us on um, Friday, October 27th at Messiah and then he'll be um, at St. Martin's by the Lake Church on October 28th and back with us on the 29th. For a weekend, we are calling Scripture in Anglicanism. Um, Garwood is a friend to many at Messiah. He was the director for InterVarsity Christian Fellowship in Wisconsin, but was first introduced to Anglicanism and prayer book and liturgical worship by attending Messiah in the early 90s, where his sisters uh, attended church. And um, he is truly a friend to Messiah. He'll be with us on the um, Friday night at Messiah, 
really answering a question that many at Messiah have, many coming from evangelical backgrounds, where there's a very high view of Scripture, an understanding of Scripture, and many, I think, at Messiah wonder, what is the view in the Episcopal Church when it comes to Scripture? Um, how do we understand um, Holy Scripture? He'll be answering that question um, on the Friday night, then on the Saturday at St. Martin's by the Lake, uh, he'll introduce us to an inductive Bible study method called Manuscript Bible Study. And it's a wonderful tool, um, a, a way, another way to study Holy Scripture. And then he'll be with us on Sunday, both preaching and at the forum. Um, there are several ways to register, and now we've created a paper brochure so that if the QR code is something that's challenging for you that you don't want to do, you can simply fill out a uh, paper registration form. Those will be available this Sunday um, as well. Then two other upcoming events uh, coming at us fairly quickly. Uh, now we're so grateful, you know, during the, the pandemic we couldn't do some of these things, and we've been doing them back now for the, for the past year or so, but the All Saints Fest and Pi Social is happening on Saturday, November the 4th at the church. Uh, the Pi Social at 6.15 and the, and the All Saints Fest at 7 p.m. It's one of those wonderful social events and fellowship events that Messiah does so well. And then the same weekend on the Sunday night, we're beginning a three-part series called Belonging to Messiah. This is a sort of onboarding or new members class or inquirers class. And I'll just say that we have a number of new folks who, who have who have begun attending Messiah, you are invited, of course, but there are also those of you who were, who were never really truly onboarded at Messiah and have not become members of the church. And, uh, and if that's you, I invite you along to this class as well. And then I'd also add, if you are not onboarded by yours truly, I would invite you too to come to the three-part Belonging to Messiah class. Finally, again, we have our in-gathering Sunday on Sunday, November the 12th. Now may the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be upon you this day and forevermore. Amen.